हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर चैनल टुडे वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग क्लास थ्री साइंस चैप्टर थ्री ईटिंग हैबिट्स ऑफ एनिमल्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव मैच द क्रिएचर्स विद द फूड सो वी हैव डिफरेंट फूड आइटम्स एंड डिफरेंट एनिमल्स फर्स्ट वी हैव मंकी मंकी ईट्स बनाना सो वी मैच मंकी विद बनाना Penguin eats fish. Honey bee sucks nectar from flowers, and zebra eats grass, and mouse eats cheese. So these are different eating habits of animals. Now let us see interdependence of plants and animals. A day in Nita Ma'am's class, students of grade three were playing a game in a circle. they had to pass a hoopla to their partner without breaking the chain and without dropping the hoopla one round of passing had to be completed in 30 seconds the task was difficult as some students were quick while others were comparatively slower after just a few rounds students understood that they were dependent on one another for completing the task Now let us see plants and animals also depend upon each other all animals need food to live and grow food gives them energy to move and work animals cannot make their own food they depend on plants and other animals for their food for example an animal may eat plants and that animal may further be eaten by some other animal this is known as food chain A food chain shows how living things depend on each other for food. Food chain involves plants and animals with different eating habits. Animals that eat only plants are known as herbivores. For example, cows, sheep, goats, zebras and elephants are herbivores. So they eat only plants. Animals that eat only animals are known as carnivores for example lions and tigers so carnivores eat only animals animals that eat both plants and animals are known as omnivores for example bears and crows so omnivores eat both plants as well as animals zebra is herbivore lion as we can see is a carnivore whereas bear is an omnivore because bear eat both plant as well as animals so bear is an omnivore lion is a carnivore and zebra is a herbivore now let us see a food chain so we can see a plant It says I make my food with the help of water air and sunlight as we know that plants make their own food with the help of water air and sunlight now we can see a caterpillar caterpillar eats leaves so it's saying leaves my delicious meal now we can see a frog frog eats caterpillar it's saying ah tasty treat it will eat caterpillar now a snake seeing frog i shall eat that yummy frog and owl eats snake so it sings wow i shall enjoy that snake treat with my family so this is a food chain where plant is eaten by caterpillar caterpillar will be eaten by frog frog will be eaten by snake and snake will be eaten by owl so this is a food chain now let us see checkpoint 1 fill in the blanks with h herbivore c carnivore or o omnivore first of all we have number 1 shark so it is a carnivore next crow crow is omnivore bear is omnivore elephant is herbivore so h goat is also herbivore so h cat is carnivore hen is omnivore and tiger is carnivore now animals and plants depend on one another in many other ways too 
when animals breathe they take in oxygen from plants and give out carbon dioxide plants use this carbon dioxide to make food during this process plants give out oxygen which animals use for breathing trees also serve as home for many animals such as monkeys owls and parrots this shows that plants and animals are interdependent on each other as we can see in this picture interdependence among plants and animals we can see food and oxygen from plants is taken by animals and they release carbon dioxide which is taken by plants to make their food so they are interdependent on each other now let us see interesting ways of taking in food so it is not easy for animals to break their food into smaller pieces teeth and other mouth parts help them to eat animals have different ways of eating depending on the type of food they eat so their teeth are also designed accordingly birds do not have teeth their beaks and claws help them to break food into smaller pieces so let us see animals that chew the cud have you seen a cow that seems to be chewing something even when it is not eating anything herbivores such as cows and buffaloes first swallow their food without chewing they bring it back later into their mouth to chew it properly this process is known as chewing the cud or mastication such animals have sharp and broad front teeth to cut the leaves and grass they have flat and strong grinding teeth at the back to chew their food easily as we can see in the picture a cow eating grass and then the cow chewing the cud or masticate now name two more animals that masticate their food so we know goat and sheep are animals that masticate their food what are these animals called so these animals are called ruminants ruminants r u m i n a n t s ruminants so these animals are called ruminants now let us see animals that tear and chew their food carnivores such as leopard lion foxes tiger dogs and panthers tear their food with their teeth and chew it properly such animals have very sharp pointed front teeth in order to eat the flesh as we can see in the picture the teeth are pointed and very sharp pointed teeth of tiger they also have very strong flat grinding teeth at the back of their mouth to chew the flesh we can see a leopard eating a deer a fox eating a rabbit and pointed teeth of tiger in this picture now let us see animals that gnaw the food have you ever noticed the way rabbits rats or squirrels eat their food they repeatedly bite their food and chew it hard this is known as gnawing the food as we can see in the picture a squirrel is gnawing the food such animals have very sharp front teeth as we can see in this picture sharp front teeth of a squirrel these teeth help them to break open seeds fruits and nuts so this is a squirrel this is a rat gnawing and this is also a squirrel now let us see animals that swallow their food whole some flesh eating animals like snake do not tear and chew their food they do not have tearing or chewing teeth instead they swallow the food whole in this picture a snake grabs a frog and swallows it in second picture a snake after having swallowed its food this is this can be seen so a python can swallow even bigger animals like deer now animals that lap water or milk have you noticed the way cats and dogs drink water or milk this is known as lapping they lap the milk using their tongue we can see a cat lapping the milk some other eating habits in animals some animals have special parts for feeding look at the picture of some animals given here 
An elephant has a long and thick trunk which helps it to grab its food, break off leaves and branches of trees and put them into its mouth. It also uses its trunk to suck water, throw it on its body or to take a shower or put it into its mouth to drink. So we can see in the picture an elephant using its trunk to take a shower. Now, insects like butterflies and mosquitoes suck their food with the long thin tube attached to their mouth. We can see here in this picture a mosquito sitting on the hand and sucking blood. Animals like lizards and frogs have a long sticky tongue which they use to grab their food. As we can see in this picture, a frog grabbing its prey using its long and sticky tongue. Now let us see checkpoint 2 match the following buffalo choose the curd snake swallows its spray whole dog laps the milk butterfly sucks nectar using a thin tube and squirrel gnaws Earthworms have very strong mouth muscles. They do not have teeth. Now what do earthworms eat? So they eat soil. They get their nutrients from soil only. Now keywords. Food chain. A chain of living things that shows their dependence on each other for food. Herbivore. An animal that eats only plants. Carnivore, an animal that eats the flesh of the other animals. Omnivore, an animal that eats both plant and other animals. Mastication, the process by which animals like cows and buffalo swallow their food without chewing and then bring it back later into their mouths to chew it properly. It is also known as chewing the cud. Now summary. All animals need food to live and grow. Food gives them energy. Plants and animals depend on each other for the food. Plants get carbon dioxide from animals and animals get food and oxygen from plants. On the basis of eating habits, there are three categories of animals, herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Animals have special teeth and mouth parts depending on the type of food they eat. Some animals chew the curd while some tear and chew the food. Some animals gnaw while others swallow their food whole without breaking it into pieces. Now exercise objective type questions. Tick the correct answer. First, animals that eat only plants are known as C options herbivores. Herbivore eat only plants. Second, a grasshopper is a So, C option is correct, herbivore. A grasshopper is a herbivore. Third, a rat dash its food. So, D option is correct, a rat gnaws its food. Fourth, lizards have long sticky dash to grab their food. So, option A is correct. Lizards have long sticky tongues to grab their food. Cats dash the milk. So, C option is correct. Cats lap the milk. So, these are objective type questions. Now, question number B. State whether the following states are true or false. So, first, plants have no role in a food chain. This is false. An elephant is a herbivore while a bear is carnivore. Elephant is herbivore but bear is omnivore. So this is false statement. Plants and animals depend on each other for food. So this is true. A mosquito has long and sticky tongue to catch food. True. A snake can lap water. False. Now unscramble and define the following words. So we are unscrambling it. First is mastication second food chain third herbivore fourth is gnaw fifth is carnivore and sixth is omnivore 
Now question number D. Encircle the odd one out and give reason. So first is goat and crow and elephant. So goat and elephant are herbivore whereas crow is omnivore. So crow is odd one out. Also crow is a bird and goat and elephant are animals. Second cow grass and tree. So cow is odd one out because cow eat grass and tree. Third cow buffalo and rat. Cow and buffalo cuts, chew the cuds and rat gnaws their food. Fourth, rabbit, fox and squirrel. Rabbit and squirrel gnaws their food whereas fox tears and chew the food. Fifth, snake, dog and cat. So snake is odd one out because snake swallows the food where dog and cat laps the milk etc. Sixth, lizard, frog, elephant. Elephant is odd one out because lizard and frog has long tongues. Now question E, read the clues and spot the right animal. Also write the name of any other animal apart from the ones shown in the picture which have the same eating habit. So first one is, I use my sharp and pointed teeth to tear the food. I am the king of the jungle, circle me in orange. So king of the jungle is lion, so here we will circle it in orange and the animal which has same eating habit is dog. It also tear its food with pointed teeth. Second, I lap the water using my tongue. Circle me in black. So the animal which lap the water with tongue is cat. And dog also laps the water with tongue. So this is the animal with same eating habit. Third, I gnaw my food. Circle me in green. Here, squirrel gnaw its food. So we have circled it with green. So rabbit is the animal which has same eating habit that is it also gnaw its food. Fourth, my trunk is of great help. Circle me in blue. So elephant used its trunk. So we will circle it in blue. Happy ear also have long trunk. Next short answer questions. Why do animals need food? They need food to live and grow. Second name an animal that swallow its food. So snake swallow its food. Third give one use of an elephant's trunk. Elephant use its trunk to grab its food. Fourth what type of teeth do herbivores have? Herbivores have flat, sharp teeth in front. And fifth, how do butterflies feed themselves? So, butterflies suck their food with a long thin tube attached to their mouth. Sixth, what helps rabbits gnaw their food? So, their sharp front teeth helps them to know their food so this is the end of the chapter so friends if you like the video then please like and share the video and do subscribe our channel thanks for watching the video and keep watching for more such videos thank you